Hello, my name's Chris King. I'm the editor of Amy, and I'm watching the fan club. Oh, it's a bit upsetting at the end, isn't it? Hello, I'm Brittany Taylor. You're watching The Fan Carpet. We are here tonight at the Picture House Central for the premiere of Amy. There's a lot of intimate and personal home videos in the film. Were they easy to come by or were, was the family hesitant? To... I didn't really get much stuff um, from the family, actually. Most of it came from friends and people that she worked with. Um, people like Nick Schmansky, Lauren Gilbert, Ju Juliet were her friends, um, they gave us material. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I had to say, I wasn't really, I certainly wasn't a huge Amy Winehouse fan before I started the film. And I think that's a pretty good position to start a project like this. Uh, because it means you just keep asking very simple questions, like, who is this girl? What does she do? Who are her friends? And all that. It was a two-year edit which is a long time to spend and although it was a happy beginning because we had all the lovely footage of her when she was young and happy and vivacious, there was an inevitably a period where we entered the time when she was addicted, addicted to all the drugs and her life was going very badly wrong. And yeah, I'd go home and my wife would see that there was a slight greyness about me and it was difficult to carry some of the starkness of that imagery but, you know, yeah, and you're right in a way, we also did know that the story's not going to end happily. So, but in a way, because we'd met that younger Amy, and we knew that what we wanted people, we wanted people to leave the film knowing that Amy, who, and somebody they hadn't met before, and that gave, that gives you hope and it helps us to get through all that. Yeah, I mean, it had lots of challenges because it's a, it's a really complicated story, and it doesn't end well, and uh, lots of angry people are still flying around. You know, there's lots of blame being given to different people, so we had to work our way through that. Remember, we didn't know her at all, so we're coming at it totally naively and uh, blankly. And then just the challenge of making it into a decent movie, which is always really hard, because um, movies are really hard to get right anyway, let alone you know, all this pressures on them. Compared to Senna, was it a different experience making this film, or do you see similarities in the experience? There are similarities, but um, no, they're all different. Every film is unique. Um, Senna started off with the, uh, the images, with the footage that I saw, and I realised I had a movie. With Amy, it was all interviews, just audio. I just talked to people. And it was after talking to people I realised, OK. Then I started piecing together what everyone was saying, over 100 people, to try and figure out what the story would be. So it's almost opposite, actually. When you first met Amy at the beginning of her career, what was she like? What was your first impression of her? Very um, tricky, funny, anti-music business, anti-wanting to, 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 to have a career. She was very witty. I liked her. I felt a challenge from the off. I'm going to watch the film and I, I think no one's ever really going to be able to understand to know. It's one of those things, Jimi Hendrix, similar thing, went really early, you know. Um, I think only those people will be able to understand and they're gone. Uh, also, I was going to say, once you're on the road and constantly travelling from place to place, it can get quite difficult. Um, I mean, luckily with us, there's four of us who grow up to get us as two kids, so whenever someone's feeling a bit down, we kind of support each other, which helps us a lot. So I can imagine for a lot of solo artists and other artists, um, other people, it can be a bit of a struggle. Really. And the music industry can just pull you up sometimes, and it can sometimes the music industry can get surrounded by loads of people that like, aren't even friends, they're just with you because you're famous, you know. And um, you know, we've, we've seen it in our in our group. We've seen things happen um, in the mental. We've had to put each other out of those places and be like, you know, let's remember that uh, we're good friends and. Do you feel like you've got to know Amy through making this film? Yeah, I have. I mean, yes, we spent three years with her, and obviously it's not the same as the real thing, spending time with her. But, you know, we spoke to so many people about her that did know her really well, that you kind of do you hear some brilliant stories, and you kind of, when you've seen the footage and you hear the stories, you can start to imagine what it must have been like to be there. And you kind of fall in love with the person you're making a movie about, or you hope you do. If you don't, then I think it makes it really painful. But we certainly did with her, you know, by the end of it. Aside from the really obvious thing, which is we want people to come away and go, wow, I didn't realise that she genuinely was an English, British, London genius, a once in a generation talent. We didn't appreciate it at the time, now I totally get it, even if I wasn't a fan before. 
that's definitely one thing. And the other is the thing, given that she was a once in a generation talent, and she made it pretty clear that she didn't court celebrity, she didn't care about money, she just wanted to write music and get on with it. I'd hope people maybe think twice before following clickbait to the photo of the next artist who's falling out the back of the cab. I mean, a genuine artist, not some kind of cookie cutter, pop wannabe, but somebody who has credibility and is producing music that's obviously heartfelt. You know, basically, don't buy into that whole celebrity culture thing. Let them get on with the music because that could give for years and years and years. That's all from us. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll have more for you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm not a girl trying to be a star. I'm just a girl that sings. <laughs>